Meanwhile, President Biden is under investigation by his own Justice Department after classified documents were found in his Delaware home and an office space he used as a private citizen. Attorney General Merrick Garland named former U.S. Attorney Robert Hur a special counsel to lead the probe. Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas has the latest. President Biden's handling of classified documents, the subject of a full-scale criminal investigation by his own Justice Department. The extraordinary circumstances here require the appointment of a special counsel for this matter. Those extraordinary circumstances, a chain of events that began on November 2nd, when Biden's personal attorneys discovered at least 10 top-secret documents about a number of foreign countries at the Penn Biden Center, a Washington think tank. Those lawyers contacted the National Archives, which quickly reached out to the Justice Department. Attorney General Garland, in response, directed the U.S. attorney in Chicago, John Laus, a Trump appointee, to pursue a preliminary investigation. While that probe was underway, another bombshell. More classified documents discovered 48 days later at Biden's home, many of them in his garage. The FBI went to the location and secured those documents. As the evidence mounted on January 5th, Laus made a dramatic recommendation to his boss, appoint a special counsel. Yet another revelation. DOJ told on Thursday that another classified document was found in a room adjacent to that garage at President Biden's Wilmington home. The new special counsel appointed to determine what took place? Veteran prosecutor Robert Herr, formerly the U.S. attorney for the state of Maryland, also appointed by former President Donald Trump. This appointment underscores for the public the department's commitment to both independence and accountability President Biden on defense. Classified material next to your Corvette. What were you thinking? Let me, uh, look, I'm going to get a chance to speak on all this, God willing, soon. But as I said earlier this week, people, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage, okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. People know I take classified documents and classified material seriously. I also said we're cooperating fully. And the White House Counsel's Office saying the documents were inadvertently misplaced and that Biden's team quickly responded to, quote, the mistake. Biden's supporters were also quick to point out that the special counsel investigation of Trump's alleged mishandling of classified documents is dramatically different. They say Trump took hundreds of classified documents and fought efforts to retrieve them and that Biden's team immediately reached out to the appropriate officials once they found he also had classified documents. President Biden and some of his aides now facing the potential of grand jury subpoenas and the potential that the special counsel might want to question the president himself. Diane? All right, Pierre Thomas in Washington. Thanks, Pierre. And White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks joins me live now, along with attorney Jeff Robbins for more on this. Mary Alice, President Biden downplayed the security risk uh, at that press conference, saying it's not like the documents were sitting on the street. So what do we know about what's in these documents and why they may have been marked classified? Yeah, those were great questions, Diane. They're exactly the kinds of questions that we've been pushing on and that no doubt the investigators now at the Department of Justice will be pushing on as well. Uh, who had access to that garage? Who had access to the house? How long were they there? Had they they've been moved multiple times? I mean, these are very fair and real questions when it comes to the handling of classified materials, which normally have to be stored in really special circumstances. And I think the White House has made this harder for themselves by just not seeming as transparent with the American people. People too. We heard the president earlier this week acknowledge the one set of documents found at the Penn's office uh, here in Washington, D.C., but didn't acknowledge these other documents found in Wilmington. And it was only later that the White House then had to acknowledge those. The White House has been facing a lot of questions about why they just didn't come out and tell the American people everything they knew exactly when they knew it. Now Jeff, the White House counsel is calling this a mistake. Legally, is that a defense to mishandling classified documents? Well, if something was, in fact, inadvertent, then there is a big difference, in fact, between, legally, under the relevant statutes, between willful retention uh, and, and inadvertent retention. I have to say that uh, don't worry about this. I, I, was, uh, I had the classified documents next to my Corvette uh, is going to go down as one of the worst presidential lines ever. You can imagine, you can be sure, the special counsel is going to interview everybody associated with this other than the Corvette in order to determine how it is that these documents got to three separate places.
Now, Mary Alice, the White House is facing criticism over a lack of transparency on this. What are they saying about the timeline of how this played out and why we're only learning about this now? They're not saying anything. I think that's exactly part of the problem. We saw the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, yesterday just hammered with question after question of exactly that, this timeline. Why was it that the president uh, just a few days ago in Mexico City was acknowledging some classified documents but not being upfront about the fact that they had done this more extensive review and that documents had found, been found other places? Why was it that, that they were not willing to clarify some very specific fact-based uh, questions about, uh, you know, some of the, the language and some of these statements, adjacent room, is that the same as personal library? Reporters wanted uh, clarification, and I think we're incredibly frustrated that the White House was essentially stonewalling and referring back to very simple, very uh, straightforward uh, statements and giving little else. All right, Mary Alice Parks at the White House. Attorney Jeffrey Robbins, thank you both. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.